Let's do. Let's check out what our weather watchers have in store for us because it was a beautiful start to the day. I just want to share this picture with you. Oh, look at Lewis caught this gorgeous sunrise down the shore in Atlantic City. Look at the pink under the clouds and that sliver of sky, which is golden. There won't be a whole lot of sky out there today. We'll see mostly cloudy skies. But thank you, Lewis, for at least treating us to a beautiful sunrise. If you love watching the weather, you can be featured in our newscast by becoming an eyewitness weather watcher. Just sign up now at cbsphilly.com. Flash watchers. Alrighty, let's talk about the shore since we just showed you a picture of it. Firmly in the low and mid 50s, even a few upper 50s down the shore. The water is 53 degrees, but here's the thing we have got east winds coming in over that cooler water. It is going to keep you in the 50s for all the shore points, not only today, but likely most of tomorrow. This is also going to affect the temperature in Philadelphia. Right now, 55 in Philadelphia, 50 in Allentown, 43 in the Poconos, but it is a cooler air mass coming in. This is not that lovely south wind that we were hoping to get. Uh, it doesn't look like that is going to happen. We're going to be saddled with the east wind for the next couple of days. But we will get the sunshine back by tomorrow. We do have the clouds out there today. We've seen a few sprinkles developing across the area. These will continue on and off. We have a warm front that is just off to the south and the west of us. So right now we're watching some showers. They're making their way through central and northern portions of Bucks County, all the way down the, through southern, uh, eastern Bucks County, lower Bucks County, and into Philadelphia and over into South Jersey. Again, don't be surprised by a sprinkle. Here is where the front is. You can see it to the south. There's clearing just to the west of Pittsburgh, but everybody else is dealing with this cloud deck. All of this associated with this large storm system. This is the player nationwide. This is it. It's causing all the trouble. We have storms along the Canadian border. We have some uh, very strong storms that will develop all the way from the Dakotas down into Texas with the cold front and the dry line. We have heavy snow in the Rockies. Behind it, we have very high winds, up to 90 mile an hour wind gusts in the southwest, where it is extremely dry, and that's fueling the wildfires. And then that warm front stretches out right across us. So here's what's going to happen. By the time that we get into this afternoon. We'll be in the mid 60s here in Philadelphia. 50s down the shore. Could see a few more sprinkles coming through the area. Even after midnight, we could see a few sprinkles coming through the area. We wake up in the upper 40s, low 50s tomorrow. We have sunshine making it to the 70s, not the 80s, because we still have that east wind, but at least it'll be sunny. We are looking at 50s and 60s down the shore, 60s and 70s in the upper Pennsylvania suburbs and the Lehigh Valley. Clouds quickly move in for Monday, and Monday night, a front approaches, and yes, Tuesday we get the rain. If you're like me, you're wondering how many days until, well, okay, four days. Uh, the 27th of April is the last date on record for snow of a tenth of an inch or greater. So that's good news. Six days away from our average for 70 degree day. We are 37 deg days away from Memorial Day and 42 days away from our first 80 degree day. 64 today in Philadelphia, 59 down the shore, 55 with showers in the Poconos. We will do 74 in Philadelphia tomorrow, but 50s down the shore. 71 Monday with clouds, showers on Tuesday and only the 50s on Wednesday and Thursday. That's brutal to go back to the 50s, Jan. That is, but what you're saying is no more snow, Tammy. After the 27th, on okay. record, they have never had more than a tenth of an inch. I like that. I'm counting down the days. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tammy.